guys want a shot at winning a copy of Call of Duty World War II for the console of your choice for absolutely free, a couple of my friends and I are doing a little giveaway. Link is down there in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. Black Ops 4. That is the topic of discussion that has just blown everything out of the water in terms of Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, and it will continue to grow here in the next couple of hours, maybe a couple of days, as this starts to circulate into the general public. But roughly six months before we get our first teasers for Treyarch's next title, it is a hot topic of discussion at the moment due to a report that came out from a business analyst firm named Cohen and Company. So today I want to detail a little bit about this theory Black Ops 4, break down this little analysis for you guys, and then talk about what it might actually mean because it is something that people see that word Black Ops 4, they initially either get hyped or disappointed depending on which side of the coin you fall on. So while it is a little bit early to be discussing 2018's installments of Call of Duty, Hear this report and the explanation out here because it is something that is intriguing, yes, but it might not be everything that you're initially jumping to thinking it is. So that said, the report was first issued by, once again, the analyst firm Cohen and Company earlier this week about Activision and Blizzard and their expected 2018 in terms of revenue and stock share and all sorts of things relating to the economics of the video game industry. And while we don't hear much of this from a fan perspective, somebody that just focuses on the games that they put out, these sort of reports happen all the time to analyze what the projections of companies like Activision Division and other publishers and other big businesses within that game industry can end up doing for the upcoming years. So that said, this report just essentially detailed it and getting the boring stuff out of the way, a lot of it mentioned sorts of things about how some things weren't necessarily expected to do as well long term, such things being the king digital side of Activision Blizzard. The report expressed some concerns over the Overwatch League and things like that, but the part that everybody really wants to talk about is that of the the claim that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will be released within November of 2018. Now to name drop something like that, you'd think that there would be some sort of credible proof or resource that we could take a look at to back this up, right? Well, unfortunately, that's actually not the case. And this is where this starts to unravel that of just being the name Black Ops 4 and more so just a theory name at that. The report started out and led up to this by firstly saying that World War II is looking to be a much more anticipated year and therefore in the sales numbers will do much better than that of what we saw with the underperforming stature of Infinite Warfare last year in November and of course throughout the rest of the year there within. Then they followed it up by saying that Treyarch is expected to release Call of Duty Black Ops 4 underneath the Activision wing. And unfortunately, that's as in-depth as it goes. That surface statement is what is blowing up all sorts of different social medias and hyping people up for the next Treyarch title. But the thing that we have to consider is where this expectation ends up coming from. That dealing directly once again with the sequel to Black Ops 3. We've analyzed some different business reports here up on the channel talking about the video game industry and everything like that. And it kind of is the same rules that apply to what we've done in the past. When we take a look at these different firms, they don't care about the validity and getting the name dropped facts entirely right here when making these reports. They're more so looking towards the future and they are anticipating the money that goes along with it. That's what their job is to do, to be able to foresee, predict, and then analyze and report those sorts of sales numbers that will be coming. So for this, as we've mentioned, I think previously with different DLCs, and I think DLC 5 and the variety map pack were actually one of these things in which they didn't really get all the facts right, but they knew that they were coming out. It's that sort of situation all over again. So to be able to place that name of Black Ops 4 doesn't have any validity behind it, but more so just the fact that it's the next installment into the series and the franchise that Treyarch has. Essentially signing the name to the next project, which we know will be coming, just by association, just by the logical continuation there as a follow-up project to Black Ops 3. So while they're actually detailing the exact numbers, the amount that Activision and Blizzard are expected to make, Black Ops 3 was a mad year for money. So by logical continuation, once again, that just assumes that a Black Ops 4 will be coming. So where does this leave us as a consumer? Where does this leave us in terms of what we can anticipate for the next upcoming title? 
Well, we actually don't have any idea. There was that long-standing rumor and what some developers even kind of alluded to that there would not be a continuation of the Black Ops series after 3, that it would just be capped off as a trilogy. And other than the fact that we have Eric Hirschberg saying that Activision is the most excited they have ever been for the next three year slate of Call of Duty, we don't have anything on the table that could give us an accurate representation of what we could end up seeing in the next year. Now, of course, this is way early in the future here and something that totally could be one of those things where maybe they hit the nail on the head inadvertently, but right now we're still so far ahead the World War II hasn't even launched, so it's very early to start thinking about this kind of stuff, but it is something that was brought up, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about here with it. So, in recapping, Black Ops 4 was name-dropped, but not with any real credible information behind it, just more so that logical continuation of Black Ops 3 and what an analyst would end up seeing if they could just follow the logical trail of where the money could go. Whether or not it actually becomes named Black Ops 4, I guess that's something that could happen, but it also could not happen. We'll see in time. But nonetheless, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So, that said, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to see a Black Ops 4, or do you think the Black Ops series should just end as it is in Black Ops 3? Maybe even you could have thought it should have just ended in Black Ops 2. Whatever it may be, let me know down there in the comment section down below. It's a very interesting topic and one that I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here on. So, feel free to drop whatever it is down there, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3, World War 2, and maybe in the future, Black Ops 4. So if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.